Okay, so a new week has come and yet another OCR model is here. So this time, this is kind of an interesting model that comes out of Hugging Face. And I think they've partnered with IBM on this. So this is small Docling. So if you've seen, Hugging Face has made a whole bunch of what they call small models. Generally, these are really tiny, sort of around the 1B or under kind of size. And it's basically a document understanding model, not just purely OCR. And it's only 256 million parameters. So the advantage here that this has got is that it can run on GPUs that don't have a lot of VRAM. But in my early playing around with it, it still seems to me that you actually still do need a GPU to actually get this working. So it's interesting here that they talk not just about OCR, but around the whole idea of document conversion. And they claim that this is beating every competing model we tested up to 27X. And that to me sounded really impressive until I came in and looked at the actual models that they're testing don't include things like Ohm OCR, don't include things like the Mistral OCR, etc. Obviously, you're not going to include other proprietary models like Gemini or the open AI models, etc. So it really does seem to me that this is an interesting model, especially when comparing to other small or tiny sort of VLMs for doing this particular task. And also interesting in that they've created this not just for doing OCR, but perhaps in many ways for doing document conversion and document understanding. Okay, so the original Dockling project is also a really interesting project in that this is, again, not just OCR, but for doing extraction from documents. And you see that they're supporting a whole bunch of different documents from not just things like PDS, but Microsoft Word files, HTML images, etc. And the idea here is that the small Dockling is basically continuing that with just a small VLM type model in here. All right, so they've released a paper. So if we look at the architecture that they've got in here, we've got a standard sort of VLM architecture. And we can actually see that basically they've based this on the small VLM architecture. So I think that's basically they're using a SIGLIP vision encoder of 93 million parameters. And then also the small LM model, which is 135 million parameters. And then obviously that combined with their projection layers gets them up around this 256 million parameter size. So if we look at one of the diagrams in the paper, we can see that they're not just going for OCR, they're actually giving us locations and what they're calling this sort of doc tags format. And this is basically describing the elements of whether it's a text element, a picture, a table, code, etc., And then also actually where it is on the page and then doing the OCR out. So if you look in here, we can see that when we get lists of things, we're actually getting almost like an HTML structure coming out of this, of where it's showing it. This is a list item, what the location is. And then we've got the OCR coming out of this. So I do kind of feel this is something that you'd probably then take and you could even then feed it into another LLM to get it to tidy it up, etc. All right, so the model is up on Hugging Face if you want to try it out. They've also updated their post on the small VLMs to basically add this in here as well, which is something that they've been working on for a while. There are a whole bunch of these small LLMs and VLMs in here. Now, when we look at the model card, they talk a bit more about the whole sort of doc tag stuff and show us that like, okay, you can actually get a variety of different things out of the docs. So things like code recognition, formula recognition, tables, charts. So one of the things you can do is then process those things out and then use custom models to actually extract information out of those. So currently you can run it using the transformers library, or you can run it using the VLM library for faster batch inference as well. And in here we can see like some of the instructions that it's actually being trained with to extract things like charts out, formulas, tables, and of course, to be able to extract out the text itself as well. Okay, so they've got a demo up where you can try these out. And if I come in here, and let me just bring up the image that it's going to be processing. You can see this is the image that it's going to go through, where it's basically got some normal text. It's then got the code blocks. Again, then it's got some normal text, and it's got some other sort of outputs. So. We're looking to see how does it handle all of this code, I guess, as well as this. 
Okay, so we can see that it starts off with the markdown output, and it looks pretty nice, right, the way it's done that. Looking at it, it's processed all of this as a code block. It's missed going back there, so it didn't go back to get that one and sort of continue. It basically just went right on through there. All right, let's try another one. So this time we've given it a whole chart, and we're asking it to convert the chart. And just looking at the chart, we can see that there's a bunch of stuff in there. We can see that it's gone through, it's worked out. It's worked out a bunch of information, but I wouldn't say that it's necessarily any easier for reading in here. Let's try one more. Okay, here we can see that it's basically extracting out different elements of basically a logo or picture it's saying for the top bit there. But it is able to get out different sort of text by the looks of this. And this seems to be in French. And I kind of feel that the real advantage of a model like this is not going to be as a general OCR model. I think looking at playing with these demos is that the real advantage of something like this is going to be when you fine tune it. That for most sort of tasks that people end up doing, usually if you've got a very specific kind of task that you wanted to do, you're going to find that the inputs are going to be reasonably similar, meaning that they're all going to be receipts. They're all going to be some kind of thing. And I kind of feel like if you put the effort in, it looks like we've run into some GPU errors there, but I kind of feel if you've put the effort in to making your own sort of labeled data set, you're able then to fine tune this model to do really well at the tasks that you want it to do. So overall, playing with it in the demos, trying it on a few examples of my own, it certainly is not a state-of-the-art OCR model in general. It's probably state-of-the-art for its size and for what it's doing. But I kind of feel like that's not the key point here. I think the real key point here is that this is a really interesting model at this idea of document extraction and document conversion. And I kind of feel that with its size being so small, it really lends itself to you fine tuning it for your specific task in here. So Hugging Face already has some scripts up for doing the fine tunes of the small VLM. My guess is that these can be repurposed pretty simply to do this kind of specialized OCR task as well, as long as you put in the effort and make some of the data yourself. All right, overall, I don't think this is necessarily going to replace OM OCR or things like the Mistral OCR, Gemini, etc., for these general OCR tasks. But I do think this can be very useful for making your own document conversion pipeline. And maybe that's something I'll look at in a future video. Anyway, if you've got any questions, as always, please put them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. Have you tried it out yourself? What you're seeing that it works well for? What do you see that it's not working well for? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you found the video useful, please click like and subscribe, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.